Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to watch the episode 8 of Classroom of the Elite. So yeah, we're already on episode 8. There's only like 9, 10, 11, 12, 4 episodes left for that. And I cannot wait to see what's going to happen. So in the previous episode, we saw how the Class D having a good time. So basically, it was summer break. Probably. So, not only the class D, but the other section is also went to the swimming pool along with them. So, uh, they having a bond time together, all, all of them. But the, there's actually a problem, and the four boys of the class D have ulterior motive. They wanted to take a recorded video on the girls changing room, which is kind of bad since if they got caught, not only the four boys will get expelled, but the whole section of class D will uh, gain damages and their reputation will skyrocket. Maybe they will lose many points since since they, what they're going to do is technically a crime. So yeah, that is a bad thing. Although it was kind of fun seeing those kind of things, like Mission Impossible thing, Agent Spy, or I don't know what you call that. <laughs> There's kind of a unity between boys when doing those kind of things. I mean, it's normal, for, it's normal for anime to pick at a naked girls on a spring i don't know maybe but anyway so let's see in this next episode what we're going to see i hope that there's gonna be many things in here so uh, i guess let's play Carlos. So is this theater arts? What? Spera yun ako di. What are they saying? Someone wanted I am you to get expelled. Oh. These teachers has so many things. She knows his identity, probably. I mean, there's no way that she will say those kind of thing without any evidences.
This is the school rooftop. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, they're in the cruise ship. Is this a continuation of summer break? Yeah, there's no way. I mean, considering that there's there is wearing a uniform, so probably part of a field trip. Yeah. This time I'm gonna try to remember all the characters, all the side characters, aside from Ayan Koji and Rikit. And of course, I'm never gonna forget Sudo. <laughs> I mean, he was the most troublemaker from episode. One pro I know not episode one episode two up to episode six maybe we've done so many things that take the risk of class D's reputation going down. Well, I mean it's not the only one probably. All of them are responsible for that, so that's why they have no points for what for the whole month. This is a field trip. <laughs> Take. There's so many. I know that this school is private, like advanced nurturing school, but man, look at this. They have so many facilities, including amusement. Amusement parks, yeah. This is basically like a rich school. No oh, man, no oh, man. Oh, what a brave man. Well, too bad. I don't think you're going to get excited, so prepare for the worst. <laughs> it's been dramatic. I thought he was going to confess. So he's just gonna ask her name. My goodness. Oh! Sudo likes Origita. Look at these guys, so desperate. <laughs> I asked the same thing, you know, what happened to them?
This is one hell of a cruise ship. Oh, yeah, bald man. Oh. Massage. Mm -hmm. That's right. They don't know the shadow who's responsible for the class D. Yeah. Aren't these the other teacher? I mean, they're the, the teacher from class B. Probably related to the thing that we saw in the this is childhood memory. I mean they are in the laboratory or something. It's very white though. It's laboratories, so I guess that's it. Are they performing like psychological experiment? But I'm not sure. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this guy. I mean, after after all, we already see so many students of class D is a defect. Just like Kushida, she has two personality. I mean, they didn't prove his innocence, they just did the opposite, like framing the, the student of class C. They get on with this man. He's very confident to himself. But what they're calling the type is very narcissistic. 
Narcisi. Love is some too much. Correct. That is the thing, no? There's no way this is a field trip, not a vacation. Oh shit. Oh, what the? Oh, that's enough. The freak with that wrong guy. Come over, Masin. <laughs> I mean, he didn't finish the sentence, so I guess he didn't. Just feelings for him. There's no doubt about that. See. See. Oh. Why did you show up though? <laughs> you ruined your moment, but yeah. <laughs> I 
read the same thoughts. But I mean, I won't eat. It's just being careful though. I mean, you told him that he must keep the secret about you. I have a feeling that she wanted someone to accept her, her duck her dark personality that's why she never going to do a class activity Oh, it's a spe special test. <laughs> it was a survival test. there's something weird about this like how the hell did I go into a vacation in a cruise ship so there's a catch so it was technically a special test a survival test for them my goodness so how they going to determine the, the winner or the highest score the lowest man I'm gonna I kinda expected that anyway so so in the next episode we're going to see I'm going to camping or hiking or I don't know, maybe fishing. There's so many things going to do about that. Man. Especially the what was that name? The Ru Ruin, the leader of the class C.
pretty sure it's so dangerous. It's gonna become a worse factor. A worse factor in this series. It's like a final villain. And the bald guy, the, I don't know, is probably the leader of class A. No, there's no way. There's two actually. The girl and the guy. The bald guy. The leader of class A. But I'm not sure whether who's the two the two of them was the leader, but we're going to see it in the next episode probably. So I uh, guess that's for the episode 8. I hope you like and subscribe. Bye bye.